Well, hello, folks. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, hope you all are doing good today. Um, George here, and well, it is May 29th, 2024. And I got my coffee ready, got my, or my tea, and my cookies, and looks like some cake here. Yes. And we also have the board ready. Yes, we do. And, um, so let me go back to this and um it's gonna be our gonna be our spirit reading here so let's see here yep um okay so we're going to get started now folks this is going to be for everyone that um uh, wanted a reading you know and just remember take this with a grain of salt Boy, there's some interesting things that come up on the board. So here we go. Hello, spirits. Spirits, I welcome you all. I welcome you all in. So I wanted to just take this moment and let you know that this is a reading for anyone that's watching. It's a possible... Uh, information that's coming out on the board and in the cards um, of something that you probably need maybe need to pay attention to um, and uh, so it's very interesting what's going to come out here and uh, I thought maybe you all would like this maybe a reading so let me know in the comments when you don't when you're finished watching this did anything come out you know that uh, really uh, made you aware of things of your surrounding something that you need to be concentrating on you know and some positive good things so let me know that i welcome you all in All the bad spirits, all the bad spirits, please go away. I want good, positive spirits to come in. Spirits, we are here today to talk to our viewers. The ones that will be watching this video, some of them may need a message. So if you could help the ones that are looking for some sort of positive message, and I'm talking about a positive message, uh, something that they need to be aware of, be cautious of, uh, but in the end, a positive uh, message that would help the viewers. So first, I want to find out if we have a spirit here. I believe we probably do. Let's see. Yep, Ooh, we do. Oh, yep, wow. definitely. Yeah, we got some readings here. Spirits. Got some little here? spirits. I see. I see. I see it going back and forth. All right. Oh, oh turning red. Look at there. We got a reading. Oh. Okay. So, spirits, if you can give me, uh, let me know what spirit we may have here or what we may be talking about here either an adult male or female or a child female or male i'm going to roll the dice and i'm asking for a one two three or four six that means you're studying and this is our reading for today on may 29th 2024 and one two three or four where it is. And okay. And we have ooh, we have an adult male. Can you see that? We have an adult male. So folks, that could be meaning several things. Um this could be that the spirit maybe on this table um uh from the reading is is an adult uh, or was an adult um male when he was uh, on earth of course um but it could mean also that uh, maybe the spirits around here is uh has picked 
an adult male that uh, maybe is reflecting to something that you're thinking could be. So this may have something to do with a situation in your life that's going on or has happened from the past, present, or possibly the future of an adult male. Interesting. I'll just put you right there. There we go. I'm going to pull out two numbers. And spirits, these numbers... Somebody's watching this, and these numbers may mean something to them. So, let me see. This one here. What we got here? It's a zero. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, from zero to nine, spirits, can you get me one more number here? Okay. <laughs> Zero six. Okay. Yep. So the zero six. Now I know that means something to me, uh, but I'd be curious. Uh, let me know in the comments if this means something to you all. Zero six. And I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to name our adult spirit. So, spirit, you, our adult spirit here. Is going to be named Carson. We will name you Carson. Here we go. Negative spirits. Yep. Go no, here. we don't want no negative spirits. Now, spirits, I want to get a fortune teller here to help us out. To help our folks out. And I need a spirit. Spirit, I need a fortune teller. Can you give me a one, two, three, or four again? A one. Okay. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't, Carson, you didn't waste long time at all, did you? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh, uh, Lester Hanlogenia, yeah, and he represents the diamonds. Yeah, that's a wonderful, wonderful fortune teller. Um, and I do have little short videos on these, so if you haven't seen them, check them out. They're on the playlist. There we go. Okay, and we'll get to his card here in just a moment. Now, spirits, we're going to have the one Terra card here. And it's going to be either forward or reversed, and I need it to uh, just to speak to the, someone that's looking out here that may be you know, struggling or just needs an answer for something. So, how many cards before I get to the one card? Two, three, and four. And let's see what it is. Is it forward or reverse? Ooh. Yep. Reverse. <laughs> the two of swords. See that? And it's reversed. Towards me, it's reversed, and I'm turning it around here. So the two of swords. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is it, folks. Let me uh, go to the Pix monitor so you can see all that. Yeah, the um, the two of swords is a very interesting card. Um, um, and and I remember this is reverse, but uh, my good friend Marilyn, which she's 82 years old, a psychic. Uh, and she gives me information, you know, uh, you know, ever so often. And like it's, I tell folks, I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I just, this is more of a hobby than anything. I love to read about the cards and try to talk to spirits. More of a paranormal type of situation. You know, I love being able to be able to do that. But um, this card here, it has something to do when the re when it's reversed with, uh, you know, things, lies being exposed. And Marilyn always said, look at the artwork on the cards and look at this artwork. We have what looks like a woman um, that um, has got two swords. She's facing a tree, like a forest. Uh, you got a split uh, path. Um, she's trying to figure out possibly which direction to go. And she's got to keep her weapons close to her, as you can see, because in both directions, things can not always be, you know, the best. So, um, 
But let me go back to this so we can play the kind of the definition. I, I add the definition into it, and that way you can kind of understand a little bit more about this card. In a general context, the Two of Swords reversed represents indecision, delays, or postponement. It indicates that fear, worry, anxiety, or stress is overwhelming you and you may be experiencing emotional or mental turmoil, as a result leading to an inability to make a decision. It can also represent holding on to resentment or anxiety, and being overloaded with more information that you can handle. This minor arcana card reversed can signify someone who is overly cautious, emotionally detached, cold or guarded. Alternatively, the Two of Swords can signify being able to see the truth of a matter after a period of mental fogginess and finally, being able to make a decision as a result. It can also represent lies being exposed. Mm. Yes, so definitely for, well, for me, I know this card is meaning something for sure about a certain person. I'm thinking that it's possibly is just giving, you know, some guidance here. And uh, definitely let me know what you think. If it's giving you some guidance, if it did this card pick up on something uh, that's happening in your or life and experiences, I want to hear, I want to know about that. That's so. an interesting card there. See that? Ooh, thank you, spirits. Now, spirits. We have the card of Mincy cards, and this is where Lester Hologenia is going to help us out here. So, I am going to place these down, and the first diamond card I come to, this is going to be our viewer's card, something to be aware of. And it's a club. Oh, and here it is. There it is. The Jack of Diamonds. See that? Yep. Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I got to tell you, folks, that's that's another interesting one. Let me uh, go to the Pix Monitor so you can get a better look at that. And again, look at this uh, this picture. Uh, uh, you know, you've got a balancing act here, right? Uh, you've got uh, a person that's got a sword. He's, uh, he's pulling the sword out of the case. And... It's trying to balance life, and is this person trustworthy? Hmm, I don't know. So this this is an interesting card for sure. So let's go back to this, and it'll um, give us a little little info. And for the ones that are not sure about this card, these are the card of Mincy cards, where you tell the fortune with poker cards. And boy, does it ever! It's, <laughs> it is. It's something. So, as you can see, this card, the Jack of Diamonds, it stands for a dishonest person. Um, and this is, you know, if you think about it, folks, the first card, the tarot card, um, we're talking about, you know, different, uh, you know, cut under, uh, under, you know, the lies, you know, uh, showing lies in people. So, uh, yeah, so... It's got to, it's got to be picking something, and of course um, we've got uh, recklessness, walking on fire, and challenging younger men, misused weapons, woo, balancing life, male musicians, and never looking back. So this is kind of uh, just little references as to what this card would mean. And it can pick up on a lot of things. It really can on people's uh, situation in life. So, and the state um, is Nebraska, and the country is Malaysia. That's what this card stands for. So, this is Vizio. He is one of the Trojan Prince. He was one of the greatest fighters in the Trojan War. This character is bigger than life constantly walking the line between fantasy and reality and between the possible and impossible. Bizio is sometimes called the laughing boy. He represents a relative or acquaintance. Bizio chose you today because you may experience some of his hysterical ways. He's a blonde, red or light-haired young man of the age of 21 or younger. 
And sometimes he's a dishonest or an unreliable person. Be wary of Bizio. Hmm. Yes. So there we go. Now, as far as me, this card, it's, it is also picking up a, well, an acquaintance uh, that I know of. Okay. So I don't know if that's telling me I need to be uh, kind of paying attention. Uh, and also, let me know, folks, what you think. Is it picking up somebody, you know, like a relative, a friend, a um, co-worker, something that you're kind of not sure about? Because this character is like a, you know, a person that's kind of misleading, okay? And you may not know that they're misleading. Now, Lester, the our fortune teller, Lester Halogenia, uh, this is his message from this particular card, which it says, if I get rid of my demons, I lose my angels. Boy, <laughs> that's a heavy, heavy statement. I like that. I really do. So interesting. Hmm. That didn't take long at all. Jack of Diamonds. Okay, so this character may have something to do with, uh, with your present being. So, so let's see if you can get us a character. And folks, this is the character bag, and then we have the event bag that goes with it. In this bag, there's, oh my goodness, there's, there's a lot of characters, okay? Um, and a lot of events in the other bag so a character is the story of what our spirit may be trying to tell us folks when you see this <laughs> coming out of the bag i had to laugh and you'll see what i'm talking about and then we'll ask for an event to go with that character and our character today is faster oh a farter <laughs> oh my god did you see this I was thinking it was it faster, but no, it's it's a farter. I did not have my glasses on when I was doing this, which I always forget to do that. And um, I was thinking faster, uh, faster, and I didn't see the R. And I'm like, uh, wait a minute, that doesn't say faster, it's farter. Okay, so folks, I don't know if this has got something to do with the person that you're thinking about or, you know, but if they're if they're a farter, if they have, you know, gas all day long, releasing gas, then they might be might be something you need to pay attention to, oh, of a person surrounding you. Farter. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this could be from something from the past, the present, or the future. So, you know, it could be saying that hey, you may be in an elevator one day soon. And somebody's going to rip one, and it's going to be horrible, and you're going to get, you know, anything. But you never know. It's funny. Let me know what you think this means in your uh, presence, you know. So. I had to laugh about that. I'm sorry. Okay, so what is our farter? Our farter. <laughs> um, what, what is the event that this farter has something to do with? You know, and I always say that, and Marilyn, my good friend, she always says, hey, the spirits, you know, people get scared of spirits, you know, and there is evil spirits, okay? They're the ones that you feel uncomfortable. You can automatically feel a, uh, you know, a bad presence, but there is good spirits. Most of the time, almost all the time, there's good spirits around us. And the spirits uh, have a sense of humor, just like we do on earth, just like they did. Um, you know, as they traveled this earth, you know, certain ones keep that sense of humor. So that's why I'm saying, I think I have a spirit and maybe Carson or uh, whatever has a really good sense of humor as far as the, the event. Oh boy, so this reading or the character <laughs> rather spirits, we got some, you know, Y'all can, you, the spirits can, they have a sense. And another thing, folks, the, the zero six, boy, I can't believe that's come up because of this, you know, and uh, I know that that's meaning something to me. So. so there is our event. Let's see what it says. Discovering a new, sp <laughs> a partner, <laughs> 
discovering a new species. So this is this kind of goes hand in hand, supposedly, when you do these um, uh, spirit stories, okay? And um, it, I, this is like a really, really cool part of readings, I think. I think if the spirits can really, you know, try to, to communicate with us, they will do the best they can and have you pull out, you know, wording and numbers and all kind of things, whatever you're using uh, to try to communicate with you. So here we have, in this part of the story, we have a, uh, uh, well, a farter and then discovery of new species. Now, to some of you, that is going to mean something something so definitely it's, let me know it. oh my gosh yep and with this let's do this let's, let's roll the um, a story block here and this is different from our ghost blocks this is the story block here and it kind of gives us um kind of the person that that kind of the farter and the discovery of the new species uh kind of uh, mimics, I guess you could say. And let's see what we have here. Ooh, what does that say here? First person point of view. Yep. You see that? First, port, first person point of view. So I'm thinking that this all is kind of uh, going together here. Um, and let me know what you think, but I think this has something to do, this first person uh, point of view. Um, you may think, well, this 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 person, he, he's uh, he or she is uh, is a farter, and and definitely a new species of a different kind. I don't know, but let me know what you think, what this all means to you. And of course, finally, with our with our uh, story, we got to have some season cards here. But you know what? So we got to do this. And let me do this next. So this is our season cup with our season crystals. And you can see in there. And if you've seen the videos before, folks, you know which color always comes up, right? Uh, especially when we were talking about uh, Sebastian Rogers. Uh, I've got videos on that or something that relates to him. You know, like the other people like Seth Rogers or Chris Prophet. Well, this time it's a little different. And remember, this is something that has something to do possibly with your surroundings, either in the past, present, or the future. We've got uh, yellow for spring. We have green for summer, red for fall, and blue for winter. So, what season? What season should our person watching this, what should they be paying attention to? <laughs> so um i've had comments where people talk about the blue one just only coming up and asking me you know is it rigged or is it do i have it staged because i'm telling you on a lot of the other readings only the blue one which stands for winter would come up the other ones would be upside down but this time we've got you know we've got some different <laughs> ones so all right Looks like, folks, that we really need to pay attention to summer, fall, and winter. And, you know, and that could mean from the past, too, like past summer and fall and winter and then our present coming up, you know, so that could mean something like that. The upcoming, maybe possibly, the upcoming uh, summer, fall, and winter. And it can mean like a major happening, you know, within that time period. Um, so that's that's why it's real important when you, especially when you get three of the seasons coming up. So, okay, that's that's interesting. So I'm going to just place these right here, so we can get that in there. And that is that. And then finally on this part. Let's get our season cards. I really like the season cards. So how many to deal out till we get to that? So one. So 
we'll look at that here in a moment. And then the next season cards, part one, part two. This is part two season cards. So let's see. I have one on that. Okay. okay. Sounds good. And for our barter, discovering the new pieces, something we need to pay attention to in summer, fall, and winter. And this is the season card. Look at there. It says within a year. Look at that. Within a year. And on a windy day. Hmm. All right, folks, take note. Of, uh, within a year, on a windy day, um, something possibly, you know, in the summer. We're getting ready to come into the summer uh, solstice. Uh, we're getting ready, to, and then fall and winter. So within a year, on a wind, on a windy day. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say, if um, I'm next to a farter on a windy day, a windy day, I'm hoping the wind is in the other direction, not direction that I smell. I'm just saying. So, but uh, discovery of a new that's May this is 29th, 2024. Interesting. Interesting read. Possibly the spirit Carson here is saying within a year on a wind. Uh, on a windy day that we may run into or have something to do with a farter <laughs> discovering a new species hmm. and it's hmm. going to be possibly an adult <laughs> male and then our cards here and uh, tell you what let's go to the tea and you know I, I, um when you see the card like the two of swords you know it's like and you see the swords there with the weapons drawn I kind of am getting a picture here of what what we may be getting ready to experience, or possibly I don't know. Reading, and see what let's see what the spirits can show us in the tea reading. And then of course the jack of diamonds too, folks. You know, I'm a, that's a joker kind of person. You know, uh, that you know likes to tell lies and and misuse weapons and misuse things. So this mm -hmm. is. It's very interesting. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, now we have their tea leaf reading. <laughs> and, um, boy, this is interesting, folks. So here we go. So uh, this is where you can, of course, you can get, um, you know, readings from tea leaves. So I want you to take a look at this. Spirits. See what you think. negative spirits go away and remember folks this will be for your vision okay this uh, is for you to look at the tea leaves and kind of figure out what you see is possibly an image that could be trying to tell you something to, to forewarn you about something you get experience to go away <laughs> spirits we have some viewers that uh, are going to be watching this video and they are looking for some sort of information and if you have some information to some of the viewer, viewers out there someone that's watching this that may need to take a look at this on the tea leaves could you please could you please give the uh, the viewer a message in these tea leaves. A message in the tea leaves. Okay, let me explain something real quick to you also. If you've watched some of my other videos about tea leaf reading, um, a lot of times the tea read, the, the, there'll be a lot of it in the bottom of the cup. Marilyn uh, said that she normally will put a little bit more liquid if, it, if she's having trouble reading in the bottom of the cup. So that's why uh, I put a little bit more 
you know, tea liquid or left a little bit of tea in there after drinking. So drinking the tea. So can you give us a message, a message that our viewers, someone out here needs to pay attention to in these tea leaves? There's just a little bit right here in the, the cup. That's interesting. Can you all see that? I see an image. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Um, I'm. I definitely see an image. I want to know what you all see. And you can be blunt when the comments. Just let me know what you see. And I definitely see an image in this. I don't know exactly what that means, but I see an image, okay? Yep. Definitely let me know. <laughs> just with this little, just this little piece. But I want to know what you think it is. But I think we're going to get most of the images from our drippings. Looky here. This is the drippings. Ooh, I see an image in this. Yep, I do too, folks. And um, I'm very curi curious of what you see. Uh, but uh, I, I can almost tell, my, tell what this story and what this whole reading has kind of been about with this image for me. But let me know what you think. And you do... You know, Marilyn's right. You get more of the image on the drippings than you do in a cup. It's kind of a split screen type thing, but uh, what a story maker this makes. Yeah. Boy, this is something. <laughs> okay. Folks, tell me what you see. I mm. definitely see. I definitely see. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Some of you are going to see different things for sure, but I definitely see something for my image. Yes. All right. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three. See that? You got three little spikes right there. And this little, little block right there. <laughs> Very interesting. Thank you, spirits. Spirits, you are now welcome to leave this session of the tea leaf. <laughs> oh, boy, folks. What do you think? Um, I love that reading. I think it was just absolutely great. I mean, you know, there, uh, there's all... Anytime you get a reading, you know, uh, and, it, and I have to say, folks, that, you know, when you do readings for folks and I've done this with my friends and um and it's always interesting because you can bring in I always have somebody to bring in something personal so if a spirit is around they can always kind of pick up on that but this is you know we've got several people of you all out here who's watching and you just never know right what spirit is trying to talk to who and I personally got something from this reading that I need to be aware of, or at least I need to concentrate on. Uh, but always remember the, the readings are always something to be positive about, you know, to try to um, change a, if it's a bad situation, you change it to a better direction that will, works for you and for everybody else. So, uh, but I definitely enjoyed this reading. Um, if you would like to see more readings like this, you know, like personal readings for everyone, uh, let me know. I'll be more than happy happy to do these. Um, and if you, uh, yeah, that would be great. 
but now if you will please subscribe to the channel uh if this is your first time you know watching this um a lot of people have seen this and they they haven't subscribed yet uh if you will subscribe because it'll let you know that i've come out with another reading so you won't miss it and uh it's uh but boy <laughs> this this is definitely definitely something so okay folks well i'm gonna go ahead and call it uh an evening on this and like i said let me know what you think and uh i'm gonna get back to drinking my tea and whatever i have here to eat and uh you all please be safe if you have loved ones out there please give them a hug tell them you love them because folks day by day you never know what's going to happen and uh folks until next time this is george and you all be safe and i'll see you down the road Bye-bye.